So let's talk about Shiba Inu, what to expect in the next week or two. We're gonna talk about that. Obviously you can tell I'm not at my, uh, at my desk. I am in my uh, actual backyard, just trying to give you guys a little bit of different type of content from different places, all that kind of stuff. So let's talk about SHIB and what to expect. Right now we're bouncing up a little bit, a little bit under 2%, uh, tr kind of trading in that tight range that we've all know and love and where we've been, where we don't love it, we wanna move up, of course, right? Um, but here's the thing, from a what to expect standpoint, we have a situation playing out where we are in a volatile market market right now. Market, just like I'm from Boston, market. We're in a volatile market right now and we're the entire market is waiting to see what is going to happen with the federal reserve on september 21st we all know this but that is what to expect that is what we've got coming uh, and it obviously dramatically impacts shiba inu it does okay and so here's where we're gonna be i fully expect us to continue to stay in this range for a while. I think that we will be here for the foreseeable future. We will be here probably at least until the 21st. I think that we will possibly move down. Shiba Inu will move down per whatever decision comes down from the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates. Because here's the thing, they're either gonna raise interest rates 75 basis points or 100 basis points. If they raise it 75, that's pretty much built into the market. That's what the market is expecting. And I think that that will push the markets down a little bit, kind of a knee-jerk reaction, they'll bounce back and we should be fine for the next two or three or four weeks as we roll forward until the next Federal Reserve meeting. Now, if they raise it 100 basis points, that's gonna be bad. That has the potential to move SHIB even lower down into say the, you know, the, the four zeros one zero range, possibly push it back below that, but SHIB will you know, do its thing, bounce back, but it will not go dr dramatically down into the proverbial basement. That's simply not gonna happen. SHIB is too big, too big of a market cap, too big of a liquidity pull, all those, th all those things for it to just dramatically just crash it, if you will. That's simply not gonna happen. But that's what to expect. That's what I'm looking at for the foreseeable future. Uh, after the, you know, the Federal Reserve decision or whatever happens or doesn't happen with that, again, we know what's gonna happen. They're gonna raise it, it's just how much from there we will go, we will look forward from there. But again, I wanted to kind of give you just an idea of something that is that is out there, something that you need to be aware of, and something that's important to Shiba Inu. And by the way, important to every single coin token you own, they're all gonna be impacted. For me, I'm just riding this storm out because this is where we're at, this is where we're gonna be for a while. And uh, I'm here for you every day. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button below. I'll see you, go make some money, bye.